The all-new 2015 Chrysler 200 is the best car for you if you're a mid-sized sedan shopper looking to make an emotional commitment. Oh, it'll carry four adults and a good amount of luggage, but its main mission is to put some sporty style in your life. So it trades an upright profile for coupe-like proportions and an airy cabin for the drama of a man cave cockpit. Is it the family car for you? I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a car preview video review of the 2015 Chrysler 200. It'll never threaten the Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, or Nissan Altima for sales numbers, but Chrysler believes there's an audience for an affordable four-door that values attitude a little more than everyday utility. This is the car they advertise as imported from Detroit. It is made in Michigan, but underneath it's got a lot of Fiat engineering. It's essentially a stretched version of the Dodge Dart, a car that traces its origins to the Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Fiat, Alfa, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram Truck, and for now Ferrari are all part of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, or FCA. It's what happens when Chrysler goes bankrupt and the Italians take over. Still, the 200 doesn't look very European. The front end introduces the styling you'll see on lots of future Chryslers. Thankfully, it does without a trendy big mouth grille. The body is one of the longest in the class, and the wheelbase, the distance between the axles, is among the shortest. It's a trait shared with the Chevrolet Malibu and Buick Regal, and like them, the 200 is a little challenged for interior roominess. Like virtually everything in this class, the 200 is based on a front-wheel drive design, and its mainstay engine is a four-cylinder. In this case, a Fiat-engineered 2.4-liter also found in the Dart and Jeep Cherokee and Renegade about 70% of buyers will order it. But the 200 is among the decreasing number of mid-size cars to also offer a six-cylinder engine. It's the Chrysler-designed Pentastar 3.6 liter installed in everything from minivans to the Dodge Durango. With either engine, your only transmission is a nine-speed automatic. It's shared with the Cherokee and Renegade, but nothing else in the 200's competitive set has this many gears. The V6 costs about $2,000 more than the four-cylinder, and this particular example, a 200S, combines it with another feature rare in this class, all-wheel drive. It's a $2,250 option available only with the V6 and only on the sporty S and luxury C models. This is essentially the same system used in the Cherokee. It operates in front-wheel drive and automatically transfers power to the rear tires only to get you moving on a slippery surface. In that sense, it doesn't contribute to dry road handling, as does the all-wheel drive system in, say, the Subaru Legacy. If you're at the wheel of a front-wheel drive four-cylinder 200, you might wish for as much performance as the styling seems to promise. Acceleration is just adequate, and the engine sounds unpleasantly gruff when you floor it, which you will to pull into busy traffic or merge with a fast-moving freeway. The V6 actually has class-leading horsepower and won't leave you wanting for pickup, although getting the most of it means using lots of throttle here, too. The hurdle is transmission gearing designed to maximize fuel economy, which nonetheless is mid-pack for both engines. As for handling, this is no corner-carving Alfa Romeo, but it is stable and predictable. The steering is accurate, and the degree of grip and body lean in turns is as much traditional Detroit as modern sports sedan. So is the compliant ride. Given that, stick with the sensible 17 and 18 inch tires. The low profile 19s optional on S and C models generate too much road noise and thump too much over bumps to be worth any handling edge they may provide. All 200s share this high fashion dashboard that manages to look racy and works well. Bluetooth is optional on the LX, but standard otherwise. So is a 5-inch touchscreen for audio and climate readouts. The optional 8.4-inch display hosts the available navigation system, which is Chrysler's corporate unit and could use less cartoonish graphics. The main instrument cluster is a little video gamey as well. A backup camera is available on all but the LX model, but only the S and C versions are eligible for the optional blind spot monitor and leather upholstery. 
Materials are a mix of hard and padded surfaces, nothing really distinguished. The switchgear feels kind of plasticky, but credit designers with a novel arrangement of some key controls. The gear shift is this rotary dial, and like the climate and audio controls and the electronic parking brake, it's on a flying buttress panel. There's storage space beneath, though it isn't terribly accessible. There's also a deep center console with a sliding cup holder panel. It's a balance of style and function the rest of the cabin doesn't really live up to. You sit low with the window sills rising up and the roof line pressing down. It's a little claustrophobic for a family car and create some blind spots for the driver, too. Knee room back here is okay, but there's a bit of that submerged feel in the rear seat, too, and getting in and out is made more difficult by tight doorways. 14 and a half cubic feet of cargo volume is below average for the class, but the trunk doesn't feel undersized. These hinges swing in to crunch your luggage, and there's really no handhold pull-down. It's evidence of some corner-cutting Chrysler apparently hopes you won't notice until after you've bought the car. That's emblematic of a nagging sense that the 200 isn't quite all it appears to be. Chrysler seems to have taken a page from the Hyundai and Kia playbook, aiming to snare you with styling that catches your eye and base prices that get your attention. Yes, 200 pricing does start below that of the class leaders, though if you pour on the options, most of the gap disappears. Our V6 200S with all-wheel drive, navigation, backup camera, blind spot detection, black 19-inch alloy wheels, and other goodies listed for just over $34,000. There's a reason the Accord, Camry, and Altima are such huge sellers. They don't compromise their family car values. The 200 is looking to trigger different emotions, even if you are buying it for your family. For more on this and other cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com and subscribe to our Car Preview YouTube channel.